or mm -hmm. there it should say yep recording Thanks. awesome cool so yeah um i think i can flip my camera too so i can do that because i can show you so okay. this is let's see did it flip no wow the struggle is real okay so this is kind of like where i'm just officing right now uh-huh <laughs> or whatever but we can it's also nice put, we can also put stuff in here it's kind of big yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. the walls are nice though because nice. i let's see i stand probably to mm, yeah i stand probably to here so yeah. maybe a foot above this brown line <laughs> uh -huh. and look how nice and tall these are <laughs> so yeah, it's I, great i agree so yeah that's like super nice and then there might be people in the restaurant right now i don't know nope so far it's quiet mm -hmm. so the gallery is an extension of the restaurant for now right yeah so that can be part of it, but right now this is like we're gonna put stuff in here. Hopefully, um, Eddie's uh, sculpture we want to put right here because this is like a perfect pedestal for it. Uh huh. And then, um, yeah, we have the rest of this. That's Raj. He's the owner and the mm -hmm. gallery. Um, he'll be like doing sales and different stuff like that. He's super awesome. And nice. then we have it's back. Oh, okay, I was like, oh no. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully we can put some stuff in this front section as well because mm -hmm. there's this like nice little open seating area and there's just this nice wall and stuff mm -hmm. and then yeah see look here's downtown like dead center of downtown wow. <laughs> it's great yeah so it's perfect i'm like Fine. sweet so yeah it's it's an awesome it's an awesome location but and then we have a side room which is like just a specific bar area. And that's mm. where um, I have your work, where we have your work sitting up because nobody really comes in here right now. But this is where we're gonna do it. Walls are dark, but but that's what that's we- Yeah. yeah side room mm -hmm. but we have a pole here so and then he's gonna put a wine rack here so we're gonna leave this wall so we'll do probably we have this wall let's see i wonder if that'll be better probably for you um so we can probably do three on this wall yeah, yeah. two or three depending on how we want to do that um let's see let me turn on lights too Okay, wow. I know. <laughs> and then um, there's this little niche, and I guess we can do probably three mm -hmm. if we want. And then so is this going to be part of the restaurant setting, or will, will the tables be removed when the show is up? Um, the tables will stay. I see. So it's going to be part of the restaurant setting. So it's like both, but we're nice. like, yeah, it's kind of weird, but like, you know. This is the way that we got space in a really good spot. Mm -hmm. And so Albert was like, you know, I'm not going to complain because he's going to let us show work here. But hopefully yeah, yeah. it'll be good because people eat and then they're like, oh, this is cool. And they want to look at the stuff. Yeah. And when they have events and stuff here, hopefully that will help too because people will want to, you know, buy work and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking we could probably, we can probably do two here as well. Nice. So... And then he did say that this, this little niece right here. Yeah. We can probably put one right here. Mm -hmm. So that should be 10, I guess, because we have one back there. Oh, wow, I'm covering it. See, look how good I am, Chen. 
I should be a videographer. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't even flip it. Wow, Zoom sucks. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so we got three because we'll do two there. The one behind me, mm-hmm. and then three in this niche. So that's seven or no yeah. six, and then three. Okay, three here. So yeah, nine. I guess. So we got nine pieces to probably work with for now. Hopefully we can get more of your stuff up, obviously. Yeah. When we do like the group show with Eddie, and then we can hopefully rotate this stuff as well. Mm-hmm. But and that'll just be kind of up to Albert on when he wants to do all the rotations, I guess. But but you know, there's lots of things and i guess if we decide that you'd want more um if you'd want other kind of exhibitions or something Uh and we're not like crazy busy doing different things we could try doing like i would be down to try and do like a um what was i gonna say a digital show as well we could try that out Nice. You know, I don't know. I mean, I just think it'd be fun, but it sounds like I'll be probably um, working with you the most doing stuff because mm-hmm. I guess um, Albert wants me to try to become a professional for your nice. work. <laughs> nice. And I guess I can hopefully soon create a monograph for you. Oh, wow. Like in a year or something or whatever i don't oh, know thank you. that's just kind of what we've been talking about but um yeah so i really appreciate I, it that'd be cool but yeah yeah me and albert we think that your work is definitely worth the effort to try to create like a monograph and things for her, so thank you and you've just supplied us with so much stuff that it's like we could do it like four or six exhibitions just because there's so much stuff you know thank you so it's nice but anyway here's your um let me flip this again so here's your stuff Mm -hmm. i got this is the pen and colored pencil yeah um so i guess did you open that one first right yeah we can open that and then these are just regular pencil drawings right or does this Um, have the oil pastels as well i think they have that has the uh i'm trying to remember what that let me see you probably labeled um, it pen and colored pencil drawings this is pen and colored pencil drawings as well it's on the back i see so these are both the same this is the charcoal and this is charcoal and newspaper then that's okay okay this is the newspaper yeah newsprint yeah newsprint drawings so yep we can just open these up i guess i think um yeah you want to set down the phone on the table first? Yeah, we'll see. Um, because you don't have three hands. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should have grabbed the computer after all. It might have actually been more helpful. Because I would have to set this on oh. the wall. Let's see. I don't know. Is that going to be far away? Oh, that's okay. good. That's good. I cannot see but the works, but still I can see what's going on. So that's fine. How about that? Okay, that's yeah, that's gonna be <laughs> that's yeah. I'm gonna take my headphones off. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, sweet. So these are the news prints. Yeah, some of them are kind of ripped. Like when I was ripping them from the newsprint pad, I kind of ripped the upper part a little bit, but I hope that's okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Like the, some of the upper parts are kind of ripped. Yeah. I might have to go grab a knife from Raj, but 
I just don't want to cut into like the words, but the yeah. platform anyway, we definitely want off, but you did a good job packing these though. Oh, thank you. Because we were like, I wonder how they're going to be in the box. And then we were like, oh, wow, nice. And you sectioned them <laughs> out by mediums, which was really nice. Yeah. So, also, um, while I'm doing this very slowly, how, uh, when's that Boston show going to happen? P pardon me? The, um... When's that Boston show going to happen? The online show? Yeah. At Bo uh, Boston. Uh, yeah, it's going to yeah. happen in, from middle March to late middle April. Oh, nice. That was really cool. Albert told me, and I was like, dang, nice. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's, it's a first for me. Yeah, how did that happen? Did they just, like, contact you? or? I applied to the open call and got oh, accepted. Okay. Nice. Thank you. I guess I, I wrapped them too tightly, right? <laughs> hey, it's better to be safe than sorry uh -huh. I was, my biggest fear was like i hope fedex didn't you know screw it up and like <laughs> destroy everything yeah so that would have been very upsetting especially yeah. because like fragile all over it uh -huh. like that would have been not great at all <laughs> this is tape, isn't it? Um, some of it is tape. Some of it is uh, food wrap. I was like, that's why. Um, that's why this isn't pretty. Yeah, let me go grab it. Okay. Are you grabbing your laptop? Okay. How was that? Two angles. <laughs> <laughs> That should be hopefully better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's much better now. Okay, awesome. I'm just going to. Awesome. Nice. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Sweet. That works better. <laughs> cool. As you can tell, I'm just like really chilling. We're just chill here at office space. I'm <laughs> mm -hmm. But let's see if I can pull it out. Probably not. Dang Chun, you have you did some good wrapping on this.
Can I be honest with you? Yeah. My mom did the rap packing for <laughs> most of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love it. I was like, Mom, I want to do it myself, but she's like, no, you can't. <laughs> You're like, wow, thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, she did a good job. She wanted to make sure that her son's work was like gonna make it to Salt Lake, okay? Yeah. <laughs> she was not messing around. <laughs> mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh yeah, nice. Thank you. Oh yeah, I like it. Those are titled Observation on Woman. Let's see. Kind of can see that. So yeah, this is Observation on Woman. Mm -hmm. Okay. One, yeah, because you have four, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, you have one, two, three, and four. Yeah, the, I can see why you ripped them, because this paper is extremely fine. <laughs> but that's okay. Gives them character. They all look good though. So I'm glad that they came in like an okay fashion. Let's see if I can set my phone. Oh look, it's finally back. I don't know why the heck. I guess it's sort of back. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing, but. Uh... Bring the microphone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice. I hope it's still echoing. <laughs> Hang on. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. I like it's still echoing, but anyhow. All right. Let's see if we can set this back up again. Cool. So, yeah. So, what are your ideas about? things that you want to put up? Um, we have, so I can put up 10 words, right? Nine or 10, yeah. I think we should just pick the best ones and put them up, right? Because I, I have some words there that I don't feel as good about. Which ones are those? Like, let me see. I was going to say, we can go into your um, things as well. I starred some that I really liked. Mm -hmm. I was also thinking if you wanted to, we could, um, we could uh, do something, we could do it by th like some kind of theme, find out some kind of theme to walk people through. Um, because the show is finding myself, right? Yeah. Maybe beginning with like more like Western figures and, and ending them with more Eastern figures. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. And uh, I think another th thought I had was we could also, um, we could also start with like, um figures that are more abstract mm -hmm. and like do the hands image or something like that and then we could start getting into like figures that are a little bit more clear mm -hmm. so it's kind of That's like 
so i mean i that was one thought that i had that i thought was really that would be kind of cool too is kind of like um through your art you're doing different um studies of the body and anatomy like um mm -hmm. your hands and everything and it like starts to lead up to um maybe some of those portraits that were mm -hmm. like really really detailed so mm -hmm. maybe it's like you weren't really clear about your identity before and through art and through um these studies and things you ended up gaining more clarity and that's that's a great idea what you wanted to so that mm -hmm. was one thing that i thought that i was looking through and i was like that would be really i think that'd be really cool fun and like i think it's pretty relatable as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's a great idea some kind of conceptual drive behind it mm -hmm. and kind of a cool um kind of a cool little like press release and story that we could write up on it you know yeah so but i mean i just figured it'd be we could throw lots of ideas around mm -hmm. and everything like we don't have to have an idea set in stone that's just kind of like some of the things i was starting to work with but there are so many themes and like i said at least there's a lot of work so it's not like we have to you know be like oh man we can't do another theme because later mm -hmm. down the road we can explore something else or you know mm -hmm. yeah so that's one thing that's really exciting too about your work and about how much <laughs> was sent is that we can just yeah like, me too we can just do like so much with it which that's why we're so excited but thank you um yeah yeah so that's an idea what other i don't know i just wanted to get like other things from you maybe there's other types of ideas what else do you work with in your art very specifically uh do you mean like the medium or the ideas ideas yeah i mean um even like the medium like are there different studies that you do just in mediums specifically because i think that could even be interesting like why and how you did these works and why i think i think the charcoals are all based on observation mostly okay. but the pen drawings and the pencil color drawings a uh, co colored pencil drawings are mostly done with from imagination okay so maybe it could be uh, observation versus imagination that would be really interesting too and using mm -hmm. the mediums as a way to facilitate that story mm -hmm. so yeah that's why i was just wondering i like there's so many ways to approach <laughs> presentation of artwork that's why i was like i think it'd be fun to yeah. throw around ideas and then maybe we can like pick one or two that we really like and then try to do that as the thing yeah but um yeah i mean even even if we did that even if we did observation and imagination mm -hmm. that could still really fit into the um finding myself theme yeah definitely because then you could kind of go along the lines of um like i guess media today what are you observing today and body image and everything mm -hmm. like that which people struggle with and then yeah. also the struggle with your mind and the kind of imaginary images and things that you put on yourself so that could be mm -hmm. also super interesting yeah so yeah i like that too um yeah let's see i better write these down or i will forget i mean it's recording but <laughs> <laughs> So am I the first artist that you're doing a solo show with? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've never really done like any kind of gallery show before. So like it's super. That's an honor.
-hmm. it's super exciting i just hope that i do well <laughs> albert's like you're gonna be fine oh hi <laughs> oh yeah um hang on one second Okay, sorry. <laughs> There's just somebody here to pick up some food, so I was mm -hmm. letting Raj know. Um, but yeah, so that could be really fun. And then your I'm... laptop froze again. Oh no! <sighs> Dang it! This is so lame. Let's see. Am I back? It's back. Okay, good. I don't know what the heck is up with the internet, but it's frozen again. Uh... Oh, it's back. Is it back? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why the heck. I guess I'm just pulling a lot of stuff on the internet. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Anyhow, okay, so another question I had, I have no idea if this is really like, um, I don't know if this is even part of like what you think about in your work or not, but I was just kind of curious about the colors too. Because I think your color mm -hmm. like in your work is really, really interesting. Right how I came up with them? Yeah, like. Thank you. It's really, really interesting, the colors and just like, a lot of it is very, very, like the chromatics. I don't know, the chromatics of the colors are super cool. Some of them are all really, really deep and thick, almost murky. Others are extremely bright and poppy, like. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it says a lot about like the specific piece. And so I was just wondering if that was something that was also like a thing, just because for some reason, like, I don't know that much about color theory, so I ordered a book about it, and I'm, like, starting to get really interested in that, too. Yeah. And I was just, like, nice. Chun is probably somebody who, it, like, even though, like, the content of his work is, like, also a whole theory and lots of things in itself, like, I bet he thinks about his colors, <laughs> like, just as much. I just wanted something that doesn't look like a kitsch, like a cheap illustration. So I would kind of strive for a color that's weight, weight, weight down. Mm -hmm. So it has weight, but also energy. Yeah, see that's, so that's where my weight is coming from then. Cause a lot mm -hmm. of it, like, a lot of it, I'm like, man, this is like, like I said, it looks heavy. And I mean, I'm sure putting it on thick does one thing, but I mean, mm -hmm. um, just that weight also alone from the thickness and brightness of the colors. Hey, Albert. Hello. Albert here. He's connecting to audio. Mm -hmm. Hey, Albert. Are you here? Hello, Albert. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He's in class. Cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I thought that was kind of cool about your work. But yeah, so I guess there's a couple of ideas. And then, um, cool. So these are open. Should we open the other? Yeah. Yes, we can open the charcoal. Mm -hmm. 
see what that is like. Oh, well, oil as well, huh? Oil, pastel, and charcoal. Okay. I'm not going to completely separate out everything, I guess, but... Yeah, this is a lot heavier. This one was like, when I pulled it out, I was like, oh yeah, this is a lot heavier. Yeah. The paper's heavier, the medium is heavier. Yeah. And you got wax paper. So I'm assuming when works are sold, we should just wrap them in wax paper like you did with this. Yeah. And then either put them in an envelope, I guess. I think you can buy like manila envelopes or we can send it in some kind of thin box, I guess, and put mm -hmm. like poster board like you did, I guess. I don't know. Well, how will they be displayed? What would you suggest? For some uh, display? Display, you, you don't want it like framed or anything, right? Um, yeah, I think it would be too expensive to frame them. So, yeah. so we could just somehow devise, buy a bunch of cheap cardboards or buy them in like, like yeah. a Costco. So I think, I think um, Raj and I, we were thinking that we would just um, make little cardboard square or like triangles to just put on the ends of the paper and mm -hmm. stick up that way if that sounds like it would work or you know you're the artist though so if you have better suggestions about how you think to put it up then you know that would be huh okay so actually that's a good idea why don't we just put a um at, at the top of the oil pastel drawing mm -hmm. like a like a rod of cardboard yeah just like a little thing of cardboard and then maybe one on the bottom or something and then it just okay. kind of sticks up like a panel or we could even yeah. have, make a frame out of it like the frame won't come over the side but you know what i mean it's like backing like a canvas that has mm -hmm. a frame around it mm -hmm. that way it um that way we can put it up but not have it like rip the whole thing apart and then we don't have to worry about like ripping the wall apart either yeah so i was like maybe that would work sounds good so yeah that was kind of the thought there um I was like, if Chun is down for that, I think that would be easy. And obviously cardboard is cheap. So yeah, I'm sure we can find cardboard. Um, actually, we can find free cardboard around here. All we have to do is go to like, um, I mean, there's a website, our news, KSL. They have a uh -huh. website where people just sell stuff or get rid of stuff for free. And there's always people that are selling like cardboard and moving boxes for free. So nice. literally we could just go pick those up or go yeah. FedEx or something. I mean, you know, <laughs> so we should be able to find like cardboard and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of like, that'd probably be good. And it sounded like that's what Raj was going for because he didn't want to completely like ding up the walls and everything which you know obviously makes sense yeah so yeah i think that would be probably the way to go how will the works be mounted will, will they be mounted by this um this sticker or um that i'm kind of that's the one thing that i was kind of thinking about and i was wondering uh -huh. We, well, cause I was just thinking about that right now. And I was like, what if we cut a little slit in the cardboard? Could we just basically 
set it through that slit and then set it through the upper slit. That way there's no tape or no contact on the paper because yeah, if we have any kind of adhesive, that's gonna rip this paper right off. You know what I yeah. mean? Like there won't be any way to get that off. So I'm thinking maybe if we did some kind of thing like that, um, either that or if we just have a little bit of cardboard, we could also put, um, I don't know, this probably wouldn't look, I guess this would just be a different aesthetic, but like in architecture, I know they have those T-pins. I don't know if you guys use them as artists as well to like pin up works, but having used those T-pins, mm -hmm. um, we could also okay. just maybe we put the T-pins in the cardboard and it just holds the paper there you know, but not in the paper, just like put it in the cardboard, but mm -hmm. you put it like vertically so that it like pushes against it, but it doesn't, I don't know. That was what my- What if you use the magnet? What? What if you use the magnet? A magnet? You could, yeah. I didn't think about that. Put a magnet. Um, like, like two yeah. magnets on each side. Yeah, put one behind and in front, yeah. Because as long as the magnet's yeah. strong enough, I guess you could adhere the one magnet to the back of the cardboard. And then as long as it like goes through uh -huh. the cardboard, it's strong enough. Yeah, you could just tack it up. That might be a good idea too, because then the magnet thing, we could just use that over and over and over again instead of like, we could recycle it, you know what I mean? Like instead of throwing away yeah. cardboard and everything, we could literally just keep mm -hmm. that frame or whatever. And that would be super easy to change yeah. it for any show. That might be worth investing yeah. to do that because then all we do is just yeah. put, those, put those things back up the bars back up on the wall and then yeah we could just mm -hmm. magnet them on magnet them off yeah that would be nice. a good idea good job John. i like that i mean we'll have to thank see you if that's something that um would work for Raj and albert but that sounds like a good idea mm -hmm. to me because mm -hmm. i like the fact that we could kind of reuse that over and over again Mm -hmm. So that would be a good idea. This is almost done. Yet. Nice. Your mom did a great job on this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That is so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. You're like, so you. my mom actually did this. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. There. Is it okay? Yeah. They look good. Thank you. You can uh, check it out, but it looks mm -hmm. nice. Thank you. Yeah, that's good, right? <laughs> I like, no, I like it. I love that your fingerprints are on it. <laughs> I'm like a red-handed, red, what, what is it, red fingered criminal? Red, red-handed. Oh, yeah. Hot red-handed. All my fingerprints are on it. Uh-huh. It reminds me, yeah, it reminds me of that, and I love that. I also think that would be really good. Or I also definitely, that's the ones that like have a lot of fingerprints. Um, that was definitely a ones that I starred because I thought that'd be really great for the, um, for that identity kind of idea that I was thinking of because of mm -hmm. the investigation of different body parts and things. And then just the fingerprints is super cool because obviously that's, um 
your fingerprint is like unique to only you. And so I thought that'd be really cool to go along, along with like yeah. with the hands and then Thank you. moving on from like abstract figures to, you know, just slowly building that mm. up. I thought that'd be really fun. That's so that's kind of why Thank it, you. I think the fingerprints and the, um, the hands was kind of what like started me thinking about like an exhibition theme that was kind of that way of transforming. Wow. And yeah, I just thought that was like super cool. So I was like, heck yeah, that would be fun. So yeah, let's see. They look good though. They look very good. Thank you. Okay, and then you put a spacer. You put a spacer in here, huh? In between the oil pastels yeah. and the, okay. Sweet. Oh yeah, that's nice. We like that. Thank you. All that color. You can't- That was good, I love that. You can't see it that well, but like, <laughs> But you know what it is, I guess. Yeah, I know. I, I, I can imagine that, in my mind. I would hope you know what it is. <laughs> I know exactly what that is. That's Roman's literature. Yeah. Yeah, these look great. Thank you. This is actually really fun to see in person because, <laughs> I mean, those JPEGs are nice, but <laughs> real artwork is... Mm -hmm. Definitely better. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I have a head here. Oh, that's just that's just a filler. It's, it's not anything. Hey, that can be a piece, Chung. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is great. I know I love these fillers. They're just like little practice sketch drawings we could <laughs> totally use them you're over here this is a filler and i'm over here like yeah that's better than i could draw in, <laughs> in 10 years of class <laughs> thank you yeah they all look really good i'm very happy that they um that they arrived like well mm -hmm. yeah Awesome. Yeah, I'll just fold it back up. And then we got all the pen and colored pencil drawings. Let's put this mm -hmm. back on here. Keep that protected somewhat. I'll move you over here. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is good too because you can at least see that your work came and is like all good to go too. Because I'm mm -hmm. sure as an artist, is this a this is like the first time you've shipped stuff, probably right? Yeah, first so time ever. As an artist, it's probably really stressful shipping like all this work that you spent lots of time on and you're just like god i hope that it's not destroyed I'm <laughs> yeah so this is also great just because you can see everything that's going on which is always fun mm -hmm. that one is the um Pen on paper? Pen and colored pencil drawings on paper, yeah. Nice. And you're very gentle with my drawings, so that's great. Uh yeah, I <laughs> I'm just over here like, no, I'm not I'm not a uh <laughs> I don't rip stuff up, no. <laughs> I'm like, I will be patient and just like 
barely cut into this like not very deep at all <laughs> mm -hmm. i mean it's only tape so it's like it's not like it needs you know <laughs> sheer force or anything you just yeah just needs a little bit of a it's a little bit these top ones I mean, they, the tape just unfolds right off, so I don't even need to use the scissors for mm -hmm. that. That's also good, because when I put this back, I can just fold the tape back over the top. Yeah. So. Nice. Oh, yeah, nice. Thank you. Oh, look, you have these all like framed up. Yeah. That one's good. My aunt. So this is even easier because this we can just kind of, I don't know, stick right up, I guess. Yeah. Because they're already done up like that. Mm -hmm. Are the oh no the other ones are in the other ones aren't framed up huh? Mm -hmm. They're in paper. only this piece. Yeah, I do like this one. Thank you. How long did these take? Two days, maybe two days. Uh, two that's days. It. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Only two days. That is like. Two to three days, two to three days. Uh, that's just, I don't even know what to say about it. Why, why are you shocked? <laughs> because that's, okay. Look at your work. Look at uh -huh. all these minuscule lines. That's a lot of work for two days. True. <laughs> But I mean, thank you. Like Albert said, I mean, I keep telling him that I'm like so surprised by you, but he's just like, well, Chen has an insane work ethic and is like always mm -hmm. doing stuff like every day. So that's why he gets all this stuff done. And I'm just like, I know, but I'm still baffled. <laughs> yeah. So. I think that once um, we can start like really getting, um, I think that once we can really start getting these shown and like we can put some on the website and things mm -hmm. and get a press release that people are really going to be like, wow, this is like cool stuff. And I think they're going to like do really well. Thank you. That's what I hope too. I mean, you know, that's all we can hope for, but I think that they're going to do good because they're just so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, um, I will go back and edit the, um, the spreadsheet. spreadsheet. Yeah, I haven't gotten to that yet, but I will do that. Probably on nice. the weekend at some point. Nice. I'm sure that we have that done. But at least like the bulk of the work and the titles and everything are all in there and everything. Yeah. Just um and the prices and everything like that. Just mm. uh, go back and edit those few charcoal pieces. And I am um working on the certificates. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, that Thank would be you. good. And then for those certificates, you're just gonna, are you just gonna mail them to us or do you wanna just send- Email them to you. Okay. I was like, I was like, we can either just do the email like PDF or whatever, or yeah, mm -hmm. that works. That'll be easy. And, yeah. then, and then if we sell one, we can just thumb through, grab mm -hmm. it, print it out. Yeah. Cool. Um, so here's the rest of the drawings. You can see, oh, you can kind of see. 
There we go. Nice. Yeah. I believe they, they are the 10 drawings, right? Yeah. Yep, they're the pen drawings in, I don't know, whatever plastic this is. Is this, oh, it's a garbage bag. There you <laughs> go. That's how, that's how it's done. I like it. <laughs> so how's New York? Oh, it's uh, very nice and beautiful place although there's some dirty spots but mostly very magnificent and exciting but because of the virus and all it's like right kind of dying. i know i well, i'm in new jersey right now i'm 30 minutes away from new york oh nice that's not too bad did you just mm -hmm. get on the subway i get on the bus and then on the subway oh okay gall you gotta be a bus a bus rider Ugh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, that, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I take the train here yeah. a lot of times, although our transportation system is, I mean, way, way less than New York's. But, you know, uh, mm -hmm. we also have, oh, like six million people less in a larger mm -hmm. area than New York. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> No need for crazy transportation, I guess. Also, mm -hmm. I feel like just Western United States is very car oriented. Like, I don't know. Everybody's just all about the cars here. And <laughs> so, yeah, but that's. I don't think people like to drive here. Yeah. Here, it's yeah. Like the traffic is very honest, I would not like drive my car within 30 miles of that place okay <laughs> like there's <laughs> too much going on public transportation is like way more convenient there yeah so that's the issue where here it's like public transit's okay but it misses a lot of areas in the valley and a lot of like like it only goes down like big streets and stuff and i don't know so it's just kind of like a lot of people would rather just have a car and not deal with it i think yeah so but either way i need to get out there though because i think it'll be fun to like hopefully if we get into not a house we'll be heading out that way because mm -hmm. it'd be fun to get together. I've never been to New York. Wow. Ever. I know. That's what <laughs> Albert said. He was like, we need to fix that issue. I was like, thanks, Albert. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's great because Albert's in class, so he's just listening. But, you know, hopefully he'll pop in soon. I'm <laughs> yeah. But, no, it is. It's... It's kind of crazy that I've never been there. Everyone's like, what the heck? I'm like, I know, I know. <laughs> oh yeah. The yellow goddess. Yeah. It's very simple, but minimalistic. Yeah. Ooh, here we go. I like this one. I like this one a lot. I have to pull it out and see it for myself because I do like this one very much. Oh, thank you. We've actually got multiple of these that are slightly different, but yeah, I like the concept. Thank you. So those are very fun. Oh yeah, here's the one that's seated, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one a lot. I think this is probably, I love the one that's seated. Thank you. I really, really like that. Yeah. That was at the studio classroom at SVA. Oh, really? On West 21st Street. Yeah. Yeah, and the S, the, oh, nice. So this, was this a live model? Yeah. Oh, nice. 
Cool. Who, what was he holding? Or did you just, uh, draw, or did you just draw that? Can you show me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the, I don't know if you can see like super well on this, but. Oh, that's, this is from behind his back. Oh, okay. And that's his abstraction. It's, 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 he's not holding anything. Okay. It's like nice. some, it's an average of the whole figure as a diagonal line. Okay, yeah. Nice. I don't know why, but for some reason I was just like, I was seeing a, like a spear. Like a trident? <laughs> yeah, like a spear or something. But yeah. Spear. Abstraction can be interesting. Lots of people can see mm -hmm. random things, I guess. And yeah. <laughs> including me. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. I like that one a lot. That's one that I was actually kind of thinking about maybe putting in there as well. I don't know uh -huh. if that's something you like, but I do really like that one. I know you said mm -hmm. there was ones that you weren't confident on, but also like all of your work is good. So that's just kind of too bad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, we can do it. Like if there's stuff you really don't want on, you know, but I don't know. I think all of it's great. Thank you. Yeah, that's, the, that's one that I starred because I really liked it. Mm -hmm. So I thought that would be fun to include. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm glad they all look really, really nice. Thank you. So I will just kind of leave them. Your uh, laptop froze again, but Ugh. That's the struggle. Good I don't know why. I guess the internet's just dying here today, you know, but it's okay. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Hopefully it's okay. I'm yeah. back, all right? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Are we opening the next one? No, I opened all of them already. I'm just putting these back in that bag. Oh, okay, I'm nice. Doing it very carefully so that I don't, so that the corners stay down, you know, just cause it's yeah tight fit, but I got them. Mm -hmm. I got them in. Cause nice. they're, just, they're in such nice, like, good packs together that I'm like, might as well just put them back in there early, you know, but um, yeah, let's see. Albert should be done in 10 more minutes. Uh-huh. You just want to hang out? Sure. Um, but yeah, I guess while we're waiting, if you want to talk about any other um, show ideas, if you want to bounce around some more stuff. I don't know what kind of ideas you had. Um, let me think, because it's a restaurant space. Mm-hmm. Um, restaurant space. <laughs> but I don't know, because... I said there's lots of variety, so... I mean, and if there isn't anything and you just want to either do the observation and imagination or the um, uh, I guess just kind of the journey idea, I don't know. Mm -hmm. just call it the 
body study or something. I don't know. Um, where it's just like I was saying, abstract forms and then like hands and showing like anatomy studies building up to, you know, the more in clear, in depth figures. Mm -hmm. Or we could do simply the Western to Eastern as well, because that would cover identity since you're yeah. an Asian American artist. Um, yeah, I don't know. Lots of variety we can play around. Yeah. Um, but I just didn't know if you had other thoughts as well. Because I'm still just, I mean, as I look at these, I keep, I think you just keep on finding things that you can do, but I'm glad we at least have some ideas. What about the Asian gaze? Yeah. That could be interesting. What about the Asian male gaze? Asian male gaze. Yeah. We could, um, yeah, we could do that and use maybe, um, maybe some of the portraiture. And then, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we definitely want, um, probably images of like we definitely want like body images as well yeah the only thing is that just because we're at a restaurant we have to probably pick and choose certain ones yeah because you but don't want it to be too provocative it's public right? yeah i mean it's not that i'd really care but you know being in a public yeah. setting in salt lake <laughs> It's a little bit of a, a different story, but I'm sure that Albert will also have some thoughts and ideas about it when his class gets up here soon, because we were kind of talking about it earlier today. And I mean, I think it was a, uh, I think even some of the froze. ones, oh, dang it. You come back. You I came back. do not know what is up with the internet here. But what if there is a door? Yeah. What if there's a door that you open to see the work? But if you're if you're underage, you cannot see the work because you, you cannot you, you're not supposed to open the door. That could be interesting. Right? Yeah. That could be. So really not cool. for all of them, but just for a few of them. For a few of them. I never thought about that. Yeah, well, not see, all of them. Weird, you, you must be a hassle to make the door. There's some designs that you could do that are like, there's definitely a lot of ways to present work. I never really thought about that, but that could be something that's interesting. You know what, though? Yeah, or, that, or something that you um, pull on a string. So when you pull, it? the door goes up. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that would um, that would actually, I feel like, almost just enhance the um, viewership of that because you literally have to physically pull the door open. Yeah, and then it's like a provocative work. Mm -hmm. So that could be very interesting. Yeah. I do kind of like that. That's a great idea. But you need to get the restaurant owner's permission, right? Yeah. Um, and he's here. He's like on a call right now, super busy. But I mean, we have mm -hmm. some time. We can, I can knock around the idea with him as well. Yeah. He's pretty chill. So I think we could probably do something like that the good thing is is that this is kind of the bar area so mm -hmm. i mean this is kind of the adult area or that's what it's like made to be you know i see because it's off the side room mm -hmm. but i mean of course still kids are kids so but that could work 
that could be a good potential but i mean it is this is a side room and it is made to be a bar so like mm -hmm. that could definitely we could definitely probably do a little bit more in here just because of that yeah but yeah it's gonna it's gonna end up being very selective out that way because of the just like that's complete public space but mm -hmm. um, but we're in here, so we don't have to worry about that. At least not yet. Group shows and yeah. other things, but we can figure that all out when when that. Oh, it doesn't even have to be a door. It could be a curtain. Yeah. How be easier? Like a piece of fabric or something. I mean, I yeah. don't think the door would be very hard. Like if we just created a cardboard door. I see. Or something. Mm -hmm. if we just um. Because we already are going to be using cardboard anyway, right? Yeah. So we could just do that. It would be a cheap uh -huh. No, it wouldn't be the most aesthetic thing, I guess. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I don't know. Ideas, I guess. A curtain could be nice. Yeah. But probably more costly, but mm -hmm. um but yeah, we'll just have to see. Um a lot of your work though, like I I don't feel like a lot of it would be too bad because it's abstracted. So it's not yeah. like <laughs> so it's not like it would be you know terrible it just might be the ones that might be harder are just the um ones that show a penis more yeah directly or like the giant boobs <laughs> but like i don't know it's just yeah it's kind of lame i kind of hate that we have to like sensor in a way mm -hmm. but, you know i don't know but yeah. either way all of your works are going to get shown somehow in some way thank you <laughs> eventually or whether it's just online for sale or if we decide to do some kind of thing in the back room like albert was saying where work we kind of have that little desk thing and whatever and there's some chairs because like events go on back there but we could mm -hmm. honestly probably do like we could probably exhibit works that are a little more edgy mm -hmm. back there as well or whatever so i mean you know somehow some way we can uh -huh. we'll get everything out there but but yeah i think that's a great idea to play around with thank so, you um let's see i'm gonna uh, oh let me grab my phone you should still be able to see me but um, I'm going to... what if what if um the bookstore participated in the, ex in the exhibition by showcasing works as well there that could be cool um so what have they what did they say like what have um, they said so my friend said he knows the owner of the bookstore that's close by mm -hmm. and that they could help promote the show or something yeah um it was just a suggestion and he's, he's following through by asking them directly yeah but I mean, if they say was... yes maybe we could get them involved yeah i mean if we could um if we could get them involved that would be super cool mm -hmm. um because i mean anything helps that'd be fun that'd be a cool collaboration that yeah. would definitely be more along albert's thing maybe because i don't know much hopefully he's almost done with class <laughs> mm -hmm. but um he might want to i think he knows more about the bookstore than i do I mean, I know a little bit about them, but not much where he knows more about that. Oh, wow. Art Forum, it's, it's uh, office space is featured on Art Forum now. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier or whatever. Like, so we're actually in an art guide now. So office space is actually being able to, um, or yeah, we're like office space is actually able to put up listings and like, you know, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, that's super exciting. And I mean, that's just better for everyone 
because that yeah. means we just have even more and more visibility. So it's super yeah. cool. We're just, I mean, it's crazy. We're just growing so fast. Uh huh. So I don't know, Albert, like, it's just crazy. He started this and like I said, um, what, December? Yeah, December, 2020. Mm -hmm. And here we are, like you said, three months later <laughs> on Art Forum doing a show in new york that you're gonna go to i'm so excited thanks for doing that by the way of course because april 2nd right um yeah april 2nd um i think well hang on i did i did message you and do you know where, where the space space is located um yeah i can shoot you the address for that okay um yeah let me pull this let me pull up my uh, thing again. Yeah, we're Friday is, I think Friday is the opening. Yeah. Maybe I'm crazy or maybe it's the first. I got to go through that email again. But April 2nd is a Friday. Yeah. And um, the first is Thursday. And I know setup is the 31st because the artist that is going to be showing there is actually finishing up like a day early uh -huh. so um so yeah oh and yeah once once we um once we decide completely i will put out the press release for your show as well but now that's cool <laughs> that means we can put it up on the um art form yeah wow <laughs> even better so that's exciting. Exciting. uh but yeah so i guess we can just decide on exactly what topic we want to do and then mm -hmm. um we can thumb around through some works mm -hmm. you can maybe send me some works i can send you some works about that topic and then mm -hmm. we could always meet up again and do like um and do like we could um i think what would be really productive is if um yeah we kind of decide what topic we'd really like to do mm -hmm. and then um throughout the weekend and maybe like through some of the beginning of next week or something mm -hmm. thumb through artworks or decide kind of what artworks and then we can get together and have a meeting again. Um, and we can lay out all of them next to each other. Maybe I'll go in that yeah. back room where that, um, I'll go in that back room where the desk is and everything, and maybe just mm -hmm. like lay them all out on the floor. Like, so if, yeah. you, if you send me, you know, whatever works, and then I have some works that I think are cool, then we can just lay out the pool of like 20 or 30 or whatever they are, or I don't know, however many we decide um, between mm -hmm. the two of us, we could just lay all those out and then we can just kind of discuss them and then maybe just narrow it down to the like nine or 10. We yeah. can do it that way. If that would be, if that would be yeah. something that's productive, I think that would be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would you think would yeah. you like to do that? Okay. Me too. Cool. We can try that then, I think. Um, oh, and if the bookstore decides to participate in the exhibition, maybe we then, could expand the number of works shown to like 15, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, I'm not sure exactly how much room they'll have. Um, but the good thing is, yeah, I guess that's true. It would be nice because we can take that pool that we have, right? cut it down to what we mm -hmm. have here. And then if they want to participate, well, we still had, you know, five, six that we were, we were both like, oh, these would be kind of cool to incorporate. Those could get incorporated over there and it would still be along the same theme. Yeah. And still address. So yeah. I mean, that's true. That would give, that would be nice because we'd have flexibility because we'd mm -hmm. have enough of a body that they could all work we'll narrow down to choose what we mm -hmm. want and then if they yeah. decide they want to join in and exhibit a few or something then great we have the 
um, I guess, runners up in a way that we can pull. <laughs> and that way we're not like, oh, no, what do we exhibit over there, you know? And it all fits in. Yeah. So, yeah, if that would be something that works, then we should totally do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let me go into my notes so that I remember the themes. But um, mm -hmm. I guess we can choose. We should probably choose one theme. Yeah. So that we should probably choose that today so that we can get works down or well I guess if you want to think about it we don't have to choose it today but we can oh I, I decided I think what I decided oh you did perfect what is it the Asian male gaze okay perfect because I can work with really anything yeah but, um I do I, I do think it's fun to go through themes um mm -hmm. and so but hey that's cool we can do that and then like i said i'll still write the other themes in my notes though because later on if we want to do one of them or whatever we can have ins or we can have inspiration or those themes mm -hmm. might make me think of something else so i better still write them down so i don't forget because i feel like that'll just be important to make sure that we know so let me put those in my notes really fast. We were talking about, you were talking about, okay, observation. Uh -huh. Observation versus um, imagination. imagination, which that's really fun. Mm -hmm. And then um my idea was kind of like maybe body examination or something mm -hmm. which actually sounds like kind of cool too yeah sounds pretty forensic crimey and <laughs> um and then we're doing your we're doing the asian male gaze mm -hmm. Um, cool. So observation versus imagination, body examination, Asian male gaze. Let me put a star by that because that's what we're doing. Sweet. And then Albert's still posting in the thing, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's exciting though. Art for him, that's awesome. So mm -hmm. awesome. I think that's the themes we had, right? Just the observation yeah. versus imagination, body examination, Asian male gaze. Um, cool. I just wanted to write those down so that I would remember them in case mm -hmm. we want to ever use one of those later or yeah. They're also just important themes, I think, in general to be thinking mm -hmm. about. So yeah. um, cool. I think then we're probably okay for mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And then um we've been doing good keeping in contact anyway, but um we'll still stay in contact over the weekend. And I mean yeah. even if there's um even if there's like a work that you think of, you can still just text me. Or actually, I guess we've been using Discord, huh? But I can give you my actual number or you can give me yours and I'll text you really quick either way. Yeah. Because that's honestly gonna be probably even better. And we it's should, 201. Uh, okay, 201. 414. Oh, wait, I do have you, what the heck? Why did I not think that I had you? Okay. <laughs> I do have you. Hang on. Okay, I'm nice. Do a text because you probably don't have me then. I think I have you as well, actually. Right? Oh, yeah. We do have a text thread. My life has been crazy. See, <laughs> here's the crazy, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Then we're fine. We have a conversation already going on here. Um. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but I mean, 
Um, but Discord's fine too, or whatever. I don't care. Shoot me an email. I look at everything. Yeah. I'm checking stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. It's a good habit, but sometimes I'm like, wow, what is technology doing to me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah. So I check that stuff all the time. So um, nice. But yeah. So even if there's like stuff that you're like, what about this? Or hey, I think we should do this. Even over the weekend since mm -hmm. I know we're both really excited about it. Heck, yeah. you can even just shoot that over and I'll be like, yeah, that seems great, you know, or whatever. <laughs> we can discuss it or whatever if you want. Nice. So, but yeah, just chill. And, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm excited. And it's just fun because it's nice to have a new friend and. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful to you and Albert. Yeah. I mean, we're thankful for all of the work that you sent over too. So, because it's you. just, I mean, it, that just helps us get a big boost forward yeah. to have actual materials here mm -hmm. in Salt Lake. So, mm -hmm. um, anyway, so a meeting next week, what yeah. would work for you? Friday would be no, but any other time next week should probably be fine. Saturday? Mm, next weekend's not going to be very good for me because I'm probably going to be out of town. I see. Okay. Um, about during the week. I know you're really busy, so. Next week? How about, is Monday okay? Monday, yeah. We could do Monday. So in, in uh, four days, right? Three, three or four days? Yeah. So kind of quick, I know. But at least we can be kind of on the ball. Yeah. Or do you want to meet... Um, um, uh thursday yeah that would be fine as well which is better um, monday or thursday either way it really doesn't matter to me much um, okay then let, let, let's do let's do monday <coughs> okay i guess it just depends on if you want more time to think about artworks and what mm -hmm. you want to put in or not but i mean I'm good with either way, so. Mm -hmm. And I know that you're like super excited and ready to get these out. So I guess the sooner, probably the better. Yeah. So we can try, to, we can try to get them. Plus we just need stuff on our walls. Did you see how bare they are? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, but um, yeah, cool. We can do that then. We'll do Monday, mm -hmm. what time? What time? Um, Monday, um, same time? Uh, no, Monday, 4 p.m. Okay, so your, so Eastern time, right? Four o'clock your time? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Two o'clock my time. That's, that's actually fine for, that's fine by me. Nice. I'd rather do a little bit earlier anyway. I mean, evening, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good with evening too, but it's yeah. nice. I, I kind of like afternoon more, but. So that nice. would be that'd be great. Two o'clock would be great. So mm -hmm. cool. All right. I will um I will set up a two o'clock meeting then like after I get off this call with you. Okay. Um, Sounds good. And shoot it in the Discord again. That worked right. Because you have yeah. Discord probably on your computer, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. So I figured that was probably easy for you. So I'll just shoot it in the Discord again and you can just go in there and click it and um, nice. then we'll be ready for Monday, I guess. So Sounds good, uh, Bryce. Cool, awesome. Okay, um, thanks so much for all of the work and for the time. It's been, what, an hour and 45 minutes now? Mm -hmm. But hey, it was good. I yeah. just kind of wanted to talk and like see where you were coming from and stuff because i think it's important to know the artist because mm -hmm. i want to make sure that i do yeah I yeah job on representation and everything and if i don't you know if i don't build a connection and get to know I think that's a fun part. you then yeah exactly and that that is the fun part too because like me and albert yeah. talking about Contemporary art is unique in that um, the artist isn't dead, usually. 
<laughs> so yeah. you can actually like speak with them where yeah. I love all I mean I love all art and I love studying it obviously I'm an art historian so but mm -hmm. you know there's times where you're like man I really wish that I could have talked to Rembrandt or <laughs> Botticelli or you know. yeah but it's like they're not here so you kind of have to just do your best with mm -hmm. the skills you have and ordering to try to figure out what's going on but which is always which i think that's probably part of the reason why it's so fun but also sometimes it's yeah. like i just wish they were here I mean, mm -hmm. but yeah yeah me too that's where this is a great opportunity because it's like sweet i don't have to yeah. you know i don't have to always be like well what is he thinking what was he doing because you're here <laughs> <laughs> so you're you can just ask me exactly it's awesome so and it's fun and mm -hmm. yeah i think it's nice because you know it's i i'm a social person too so it's mm -hmm. i like being able to talk and connect and communicate with people and so yeah it's been already really enjoyable to just start to get to know you so thank you it's really fun and i'm excited to like continue working with you because we're going to be we're going to be chilling for a while i think <laughs> with all the artwork and things that we have <laughs> that's going to be way fun <laughs> thank you so, yeah anyway okay um, sounds good thanks for the meeting and i guess we'll uh talk to you later bye albert mm -hmm. hopefully class was well <laughs> yeah take uh, care all right bye chun thank you so much Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.